What's up guys, Gunscorch here, and today for you guys I'm going to show you how to add custom textures to some clothing. So normally, you'd be able to just go over here, click this button, it would load, you'd download it, yada yada yada, continue on with your day. But, due to the situation between Ukraine and Russia, that is no longer possible. If that gets resolved, you can use the links in this video, which will be all linked in the description everything up here will be. So you can use these links to just go back to those pages that I closed out and just download it nice and easy. In the meantime, I had to find a solution. So this gentleman has said solution. So we're gonna need OpenIV offline installer. Put it on the desktop. We're gonna need script hook V from Google Drive, download that. I'm gonna use menu. So download the latest release. And you're gonna need WinRAR to extract the zip files and the RAR. Uh, you can also use 7-zip or I think File Explorer has a built-in extractor that you might be able to use. But I prefer WinRAR because you can just go click extract each archive to separate folder and it literally does exactly that so first things first is we're going to run the setup installation but in order to do that we need to not be connected to the internet so i'm going to disable my ethernet connector run that english agree continue continue close. Once that gets installed, uh, you can re-enable your internet. We'll give that just a sec to connect again. Okay. So now for this, GTA 5, you're going to want to click Windows, and it's going to ask you for this the first time you log in, or the first, well, the first time you click Windows on GTA 5. So at that point, you can go to Steam, go to your library home. It'll show up right here. You go down here, right-click Properties, Local Files, Browse, that brings up File Explorer. You click up here, hit Copy. You can close out of all this stuff now. You go back over here, Browse. You can go up here, Paste, Enter. Select folder. It says, yeah, we found it. Continue. Also continue. We no longer need that anymore. So now you're up in here. First thing you want to do is Edit Mode. Then you can go to the ASI manager, install both of these, check the box, yes, close, then open up here, go to bin, and the only one we need from here is script hook v.dll, drag that right into the root folder, go in here, we need this and this, drag those also into the root folder, and you can do those either in here or through File Explorer, just as long as it's laid out like this. Next thing we need to do is go update 64 DLC packs and I'm gonna be changing the clothing piece in the gun running arsenal, which is why I need, so the one I'm doing is this one. I'm replacing this texture. So we're going to click export, export selected, drop down PNG, and just put that on our desktop. That should show up up here. Then we hit cancel and hit copy to mods folder. And while that is doing all of that lovely stuff, actually that copied really fast. It will take a lot longer than that. But now that we're in here, we will put some sort of random texture on here. So hit save, exit. Then it brings you into your mods folder. Same place. It'll it will scroll all the way back up for some reason. Uh, you scroll back down to the one you want and drag that over hit okay 
hit save and then you can also open it back up to make sure that it's saved if you want uh, from that point you hit play if it starts loading into online you have to make sure that it loads into story mode if it does load into online it won't actually load into online it'll just say that you're running an altered version of gta and tell you to go back to story mode anyways so once you're in since i went with a multiplayer female model uh, f8 is to open this menu and then you use your number pad to go down number pad actually has has to be on actually uh, so we're going to go to Model Changer, Multiplayer Models, Free Mode Female, then we're going down to Wardrobe, setting the default components, then going up to Tops Outer 2, and we're going to scroll over and you can click and sort through these until you find the one that you're looking for. Mine is in the 200 somewheres. Right there. Then, uh, nope, it's tops, I believe. Yep. I just want back one on that. As you can see, we now have the texture, purple on the front, pink on the back. Uh, you can use this to test which side and which, well, which, which areas the material or texture uh, gets put on the character itself. But uh, yeah, that's how you do that. As for 5M, I have no idea how that works, but if you want to play online again, you just find wherever your uh, GTA installation is at, wherever your GTA 5.exe is, and you can just shift-drag dinput 8dll out, and then you can play GTA online normally. Uh, perfectly fine. This is what is used to run the ASIs down here and load all the mods and everything. So without it, it'll just run base GTA. It won't load anything else. You can't get banned. No, nothing. Um, as, for, as far as 5M goes, I don't know if you have to have all of this stuff removed. If you do, which is what I'm going to do now, is the mods folder, that folder since we added it, uh, both of these ASIs down here, scriptic v.dll, the logs, those can all get removed or just moved out into a different folder. And then you're back to a fresh install of GTA. That is all. Thank you for coming.